Namakua mahalo ia, the most honored. Last year, Brigham Young University, Hawaii, honored seven kapuna for their contribution in the field of music. This week, Pauhani Years features two of them, Antialis Namakilua and John Kamealoha Almeida. The Dean of Hawaiian Composers, John K. Almeida, has written over 1,000 compositions, including Kanaka Vai Vai. As a teenager, Auntie Alice Namakilua was personally tutored by Queen Lilio Kalani. Auntie Alice composed over 400 songs and recorded her first record album in 1974 at the age of 82. Not only is she a popular slack key guitar artist, but also an accomplished teacher of the slack key guitar. Love. 
Piales, no Makilua. Here's another song that he composed. Daddy, you selling out your secret? Well, I couldn't help it. I, I, I thought everybody should know. Okay. His first song we would like to do is...
to tune up at this point here. What her, um, uh, this is not my guitar. No, not. Oh, this is an unanticipated problem here now of the lay getting on the guitar string. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Vicky and my guitars. <laughs> she went off to long. I think so. Uh, this is not Hawaiian guitar. <laughs> Now I have to tune this guitar all over. you folks don't fall asleep <laughs> because this type of uh, playing slack key this is really not a slack key that's only the translation the name is key ho -ali. It's Kihoalu. When I teach my students, I make sure they know the name is Kihoalu, not Slack Key. That's only a translation. It's called Kihoalu because after the Spanish people went home and left their guitars in Hawaii. They tried to sing the Spanish tuning with, uh, with the, uh, is that mine? <laughs> so uh, they tried it. Leave it here, leave it here. They tried it and they found a way. And that's the kind that I'm playing because I was almost born when Captain Cook came. <laughs> I was born in the 1800s, so you can see how old I am and how old the slack key is. And the, the type that I teach is the parent of the modern. So, the slack key also has their own type of song. And I will um, do uh, a couple of them so you folks can tell the difference. And it's the most beautiful songs. Those who do not understand our language, sad case. Because, because if you know the language, you will know how beautiful the song is and, and the story, of course. This is the first thing I sneaked. I was not taught, I was not helped, but I had good ears and God created me with good brains. <laughs> Thank God. If I hear, I catch up. If I go to your house, I see a new crochet. I'm going home and make it.
you just put me in the car and tell me, you want to learn how to drive? I drive you home instead of you. Instead of you teaching me to drive, I drive you home. <laughs> so that's me. Not bragging, but that's the truth. This is the first, the first thing I heard my brother play. Although I was not interested in music of this type, because I was brought up as a singer when I was three. But I, I forgot about that. I took more interest in the professional way that started when I was five. Why well, I call it, my professional started at five because at that time they were throwing money for me on the stage, on the floor, everywhere I go and sing. So I call that, that's when I became professional because I was, you see, I was receiving money, you see. So if you don't, um, earn money for anything, don't say you are professional. <laughs> so this is the first thing I heard my brother play. And today I call it figure one. Can you folks hear when you make noise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> a sample of how I started to pick up. Ladies and gentlemen, I can feel the presence of my son. <coughs> He's here with me, helping me to sing. So, so. And now for his next number, he'd like to do for you, Aoya, or That's It. <laughs> Oya, a elilo na oya, a hana, ona ona ko makai ane iye kai po wahineu i, heu i i ono ka wahine leo hone banu leo le ai yao ke kua hivi na u oya, ona ono le ha aheo, le awa le kuno kama na 
Namakua Mahalo Ia, meaning the most honored. John K. Almeida and Auntie Alice Namakilua, two of the seven recipients honored by the Brigham Young University, Hawaii, for their contribution in the field of music. Auntie Alice has been crippled for most of her life, but she was also one of the foremost dancers of her day. Genoa is going to sing a song, and Auntie Sally is, uh, rather, and Auntie Alice is going to dance for us. If somebody can for you one of her songs she composed and it's Nani. Mm -hmm. 